This comment was in regards to my recent post on the Biaxin at home COVID-19 self-test kit. This is the kit and they claim that it is 84.6% sensitive. But what does that even mean? Let's talk about it. Now, absolutely no test is perfect, but just because it's not perfect doesn't mean it's not useful. And in order to determine how useful the test is, we like to look at the sensitivity and the specificity. Now, what are those? Let's look. The sensitivity of a test is the test's ability to correctly flag individuals who do have the disease. For this test, the ranges of specificity were actually 73% to 98.9. This varied based on who was giving the test, what the temperature was outside, and a ton of different variables, which is why you have such a huge swath of numbers. Typically when it's given in a more controlled environment by healthcare professionals, the results were more on the 98.9%. When it was self swab and it was too cold outside, that was some of the studies, it was less. They went with an average of 84%, which is what you'll see right up here. So if we had 50 people and we had all the green people in green would have been, they had COVID test and the COVID test said, yes, they have it. But then you have these people over here in the red where they had COVID and the test missed it. It said they were totally fine. That's sensitivity. So if your test had a really high sensitivity, it would have a fairly low false negative rate. And this is specificity. The specificity is the test's ability to identify healthy people and say, all of these people that were screened that were healthy, they also got a negative test, except for like this 1% uh, where they were healthy, but the test said they did have COVID. Now, again, on this test, most people, it did really well in this area. It struggled more in it missed some people who did have COVID and it told them they did not. So, while these tests are by no means perfect, they aren't useless and they can be used in order to help guide, you know, who's going to quarantine, should you be at this event, things like that. So they're not the best. No, they're not as accurate as when we send them out, most likely, but there's something and they have what we've got to work with. If you have any other questions, leave them down below or if you've used them, let me know.